the semi-final that we were waiting for. I was hoping to see focus, to be honest, but Orc worker to zero at him. I still am, well, again, I guess focus was real just that, I don't know, it just seemed like he got really tired all of a sudden. Because like the performance of focus versus Imperius, versus focus versus Orc worker, like the difference was worlds, I don't know what was up with that. But there we go, it's Tartaro, I guess the first map, let's see if Orc worker can actually get into the grand finals even. The other semi found that is going right now is Lucifer vs. Happy and on that mirror, so we're gonna have either UD vs. Orc or UD vs. Nightwolf in the Grand Finals here, depending on who wins between those two guys right here. Doesn't matter who wins between Lucifer and Happy, it will still be undead. At least if you only look at the race. But let's see how that works out. I actually wonder who's stronger between Lucifer and Happy. I would give the edge to Happy, I think. But I don't know Luf Lucifer's... Ah, I can't speak. Lucifer's current shape, so... Could still get surprised there, of course. Alright, I'm just catching up with some chat right now. Don't try to ban it, guy, we need some drama. Mm. But not that kind of drama, to be honest. Like, it's not even funny anymore, it's just sad. Crap got kicked as observant, he's going nuts. <laughs> well, I wonder why. I wonder fucking why. After what he wrote there. Sim doesn't just hang out with the hottest dudes, he takes them home at the end of the night with him. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. I exactly. That's exactly my thing. Anyway, though. Check. He gets the slippers, holy. It's quite a big deal, because again, as I said earlier, like, slippers are... A player's force I'm not sure if they're arguably better than claws, but they're roughly... Well, like, value-wise, they're basically as good as claws. Because, I mean, it's only free damage, but you get attack speed from it, you also get armor from it. So, it still is quite a bit. And, again, referring to that reddit thread guy that did, like, a lot of calculations and such. Circlet as well. <laughs> Check just getting perfect items so far. Let's see what Orc Worker can get. He bought a circle at the shop. Now Orc Worker could have crept this goblin shop in a way that he would have been able to creep the whole spot and not only the Argumentra. But it seems like he only wants to go for the Argumentra. I guess going for the whole spot would be a bit too risky. I mean, because Czech could be going over there then. After creeping only Greenspan and then going over, so... I guess Orc Worker didn't want to risk it. Gets a parry up. Really not the best item here. Loves of haste for a Demon Hunter. That's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's also not too bad. Now, Ring of Regeneration would have been nice for Worker. For that early game HP regeneration, you have an easier time creeping and trading. Boots also would have been good, would have saved him 250 gold. Class plus 9, that one's obvious. And apart from that, Pendant of Energy could have been nice for TC, but really not so nice for early game at all. Parry up is okay, but it's really not the greatest. But check, he sees this keeping track of Orc Worker here, and Orc Worker was just waiting for the dust to get ready, I guess, because Check bought that one already, so there was no dust ready quite yet. Check also got the circlet at the shop, so double circlet gloves and slippers. That is quite a bit checked for the Blight Master here as well, just in case. And now chasing away the grunt so his archer can safely get away, well, maybe not. Didn't run into the Blight Master though, and I don't know if Worker still saw the, the archer mel shadow melting, I mean. A player's forces are under attack. Seems like he didn't, I'm not sure now. Now trying to get some more experience, there's no item available anymore here. So far, Czech is having a pretty nice early game. Nicely done by Czech here, pulling the creeps, getting the grunt and snared. That grunt is dead. That was really nicely done by Czech. Can he get the XP for it though? Nope, he doesn't get it, he just went to kill the grunt. Because he didn't even stop auto attacking to try to get the last hit. He should have done that though, I think, to be honest. But anyway, at least the Grunt is dead. Archer will die now as well, though. That's the level 2 for the Blight Master. The Blight Master still cannot trade against a Demon Hunter, though, because there's just too many good items. Unless he gets lucky crits and a Demon Hunter gets unlucky evasion, but still. Not a trade that the Blight Master wants to take here. He's gonna go back now. He still has one Grunt left. And he's going for another one. Still getting the TC, Beast Terry, and Spirit Lodge is about to be built as well. Well, as soon as he has the gold. 
And there's the Angel of Wonders, double Angel of Wind, instant tier 3 tech as well. Check, he's going for the go-to kind of talent strategy here. Which also is really strong on Turtle Rock. Well then again, it's sometimes hard to get a proper position on Turtle Rock with that strat because it's wide open at quite some spots. But then again, it has those choke positions like here and here and, and so on. And like here as well. But then he can still get back stuff from like around here. Also another nice straightforward check, but the thing about the talent strategy on Turtle Rock is, and the reason why it's also so good, is that creeping is really easy. Almost all of the creeps on this map have heavy armor, so talent steal bonus damage to those with their magic damage. And also another thing is, like the level 7 turtles in the middle, it's one big creep, so you just heavy fire that one, you can easily focus it out thanks to the bonus damage of that magic damage versus heavy armor. And you get big consumable items, which is a really nice thing for this Night Elf strategy here. And you can also get hero levels quite easily, which, also, which is also quite a big deal there. And Orc has to play it really well to not fall behind on this map against its strategy. Now Orc would be going for some quite aggressive creeping, not sure if he will be able to do that. But it seems like Czech didn't really see this one yet. I mean, Czech saw Orc Booker here. But now he's moving back, he will see it, but he's too light to get this. Can he maybe still steal it with a mana burn? He did not get the mana burn steal. And that's the watch award and another parry up for Orc Worker. Another parry up is quite unfortunate for him. But it's at least 150 gold if he sells it. And... Wait. Is it really 150? Yeah, I think it, yeah, it's 150. But boots are 250 if you buy them, so if you sell them, it's 125. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure it's 150 if, if you sell Perry up and Pendant and, and Claws and such. Either way, though. Orc Worker now getting the full spot, gets a Tome of Agility plus 2, which is nice. I mean, the Tomes are sometimes quite underrated, I think. Like, Tome of Agility plus 2 is almost a slippers of agility for the Blade Master, which is quite something. Like, it's really quite strong. I think that really gets underestimated sometimes. Because if you would imagine it, it's a Slippers plus 3 instead, it doesn't even take up an inventory slot, it's actually pretty sick. But either way, Cloud Quicker having a pretty nice mid game so far. Angel 4 is dead as well, so it makes creeping harder for Check to. Ah, oh, never mind, he's not dead. Barely survives here. Cloud Quicker didn't want to get wrecked by the Demon Hunter there. And there's already the tier 3 for Check. Mass upgrade is coming in. Orb of Finem is ready already as well. No level 2 for the TC quite yet, but he will get it at this spot now, I guess. And the Blight Master will help with some creeping here as well. Nicely done by Orkbrook to have this shop control here. He got the Invul Potion and this Scroll of Healing. So no Scroll of Healing or Invul Potion for check quite yet. There's only some available at the other shop on the other side of the map frame. But Orkbrook, yeah, he got both Observer Ward, so he has quite some map vision. Which is quite nice. One of Mana Ceiling. Definitely not the item that he wanted here. Big Invul Potion would have been perfect to keep his Blight from getting Cycloned. Greater Mana Potion could have also been nice as soon as he hits a lot of 3 TC, or Greater Healing is also not too bad. One of Mana Ceiling together with Scroll of the Beast is like the worst items that he could have gotten here. And now, check, he got Scroll of the Beast as well, so, well, not as well, but he got Scroll of the Beast. That's also really not so great for him, probably gonna sell that one. He could still use it though, but a player's probably are under attack. We'll have to see. I mean, there's some niche uses for that scroll of the beast that can actually be really damn good. But usually it doesn't really pay off so much. But let's see, check going towards that red spot here. Wants to take this one out. And Orkwurger not in a position to creep check that. Not even trying to go for it with the Blade Master. He's out of mana, he doesn't have level 3 for level 2 wind walk. So no chance of him really doing much here. Tome of experience for check and war song battle drums. Warsong Battle Drums, definitely quite nice here. Medallion of Courage would have been awesome. Catgirl's Pipe of Insight, obviously, well, definitely the best item here, I would say. And Endurance Aura would have been really good as well. Legion Doom Horn as well for the bonus movement speed to have an easier time repositioning. HP region also wouldn't have hurt too much on those talents. Although it's not the best thing for a straight up fight, of course. But this is pretty nice for him now. He seems like has really good items so far. Warsong Battle Drums is still not too bad at all. Everything has 10% more damage. 
there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And especially the hero levels. Level 3 Demon Hunter, almost level 3 Beastmaster, almost level 2 Tinker. Against the level 3 and level 3. All quicker already now behind in hero levels. I mean, it's still somewhat equal with the experience amount, pretty much. But Orc in general, like the popular opinion here, is that Orc needs to always be a bit ahead in hero levels. Like, if Nidalf has like 3-3-2 three, three, heroes, Orc should already have like at least 4-4 four, four heroes. And Orc should always have like roughly 10 supply more for the matchup to be balanced out. And that is not the case here. It's equal supply. Same or, I would argue, better hero levels for check. But I mean, there's really good shock waves for Orkbroker right here. And he still has another one. Well, never mind, he just got mana burned, so he doesn't have another shock wave right now. But it's a nice positioning for check here. Even though the shock waves hurt quite a bit, there was the heal scroll to balance those out. And those creeps giving Orkbroker quite a hard time to actually fight into check here. Tome of knowledge, so not another Tome of experience. Also, the Tome of experience helped check quite a bit at that red spot there. And now it's level 3 3 2 heroes. That's quite a big deal now. And 55 against 40 at supply, but the supply of Ch of Orkwick, I mean, is still in production. And Orkwick's TC actually has to be really careful, and that's the GG already. I mean, as I said, the matchup is not really balanced with equal supply and equal hero levels. And Orkwick knows that even leaving early before his TC dies, he just knew the game was over already, and honestly, it really was. GG.